Hello, my wonderful Pisces. Mwah, I love you. It's Robin. Hi, guys. Hello, 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 hello. How's life? I'm sending you great love. I, I love you so much, my beautiful Pisces. What are you going through? Um, I am in a temporary location. It's actually a blow-up mattress. I, I do stuff because um, I had a little issue in my apartment with flooding. So I just temporary over here and I'm not going to waste a second. I'm getting into your love energy. My beautiful Pisces, welcome in. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, this may relate to you. You might pick up on this and go, wow, that's what I needed to hear. That's my story. Or I understand that or I relate to that. Or you might not at all, okay? Honestly, um, these are universal uh, messages for everyone and what happens is you take what you need and you leave the rest of it for someone else's story because the universal mind is going to speak anyway and this is the mind of the heart now before I read I wanted to tell you that when I came over here I brought my star players um, my organ and amethyst and my rose quartz but most of all I made sure to have for my readings my Reiki quartz my pink calcite to bring in the most highest vibration I possibly can all right, let me spray this place and sanctify this space and myself to read for you. These have been phenomenal readings this month. Sometimes when you go through trials, you get the best freaking energy because you realize that something, a tower moment happens. That's when you make a decision to be calm, cool, collected, and act on things, but to get going and do what you do because you can't stop doing what you do. I said if I, if I stopped channeling, I would die. So I'm bringing you a love reading to look at your energies for October. Timing is, you know, time is um, of no consequence, really, because if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm going to start with my solar plexus spell. I do Reiki healings. Universal love for my beautiful Pisces. Universal love for my beautiful Pisces. Go, oh my God, my goodness, here we go. My loves, your reading is going to be done for primary energy. I was going to do, every month my goal was to do the first of the month, a, a full-on Celtic spread, as you've seen before, with the Lenormans first, and then the tarot cards, and then go from there. I can't do that now, so I have another alter alternate reading I'm going to bring you, okay? Pisces, you know me. If you're new to my channel, you guys, if you've come in for the first time, welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. I'm also opening a second channel. I'm working on it. It's uh, Your Wellness Tarot. That's my name. I have an email for it and everything. So I'm getting everything set up. Whoa. Get back in there. Well, this one came out, and I'm going to take it. Both of uh, this one. This is a Ten of Cups for you, Pisces. So this is like full happiness, like the complete happiness that a person could want. Now, what brought you to this, I don't know. But October seems to be a fair month for you in love. So some of you have found a really happy relationship with somebody. But let's see. Maybe that's just how you feel if you're single, you know. You know these readings technically are for people that are single, right? Or people that are in a relationship that needs to be looked at. Something's not right or... You want to look into, you just met somebody beautiful and you want to know, is this real? Is this going to be long term? Are they going to commit? Well, I'm about to tell you what I get. That's what we're going to get in our extendeds. And you can get your extended love reading um, by going to Patreon and joining on my Patreon for a very, 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 very low amount each month. And what you get is access to every single extended right there on my Patreon. Everyone. You can cross-watch. You want to see the outcome anyway, right? We're looking at overall energies right now in love. So, you got the Ten of Cups immediately. Give me a moment. i got to set this thing. Okay. You got the Ten of Cups immediately. So, I don't know if you can get any better than that, really. Pisces? I'm not going to read these in reverse. These are color barren reads. So some of you are having patience and temperance for something. Something's got you um, containing your energy. 
your emotions and your time and your energy. So you're you're pulling back in order to have um, that could be also Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be hooking up with a Sag C. Here's Sagittarius as well. Aries Leo Sag right here. But this is a messenger of a brand new beginning. Something new. I want to tell you something is what I heard. I want to tell you something. Tell me more, please. You make me strong. Your love and energy make me extremely strong. So strong, in fact, I can cure the beast within. Our relationship is that copacetic, that coalescent. It's beautiful. This is also Leo. So you've got Sagittarius. Fire, fire, fire. Whoever this is for, whoever this is in your life, it's amazing. I love the support system you're finding. Tell me more, please, about Pisces. Somebody's, uh, the Ace of Swords is a very brilliant um, spiritual state of being. This is where you are um, tapping in. You get enlightenment. You see something exactly like it is. And this is like a mental, psychic uh, download, a real quick one. Like, wow, I know now. I know exactly who you are, what this is. The Pegasus is here to show that you can, this is the knowledge you needed, the victory you needed, the enlightenment you needed, Pisces, to make a move. One more for Pisces. I'm giving you an extra one. One more, please, for Pisces. And a brand new start. Fool, zero point energy, the ability for you to um, start brand new from scratch. And you're damn happy about it. You're damn happy. You've got a brand new something coming up in love. Oh, boy, that's nice. So now I'm going to take a look at these and clarify these with the Witch's Tarot. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for their love reading. I'd like to know more about their love energies, please. Tell me why they got the Strength card. Miss Robin. Okay, here we go. You got the Strength card. Because someone's made you an offer, some kind of an offer. It could be um, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for you, Pisces. And this is an offer coming in of money and stability. And you're being patient and you're holding out and you're waiting for it. Tell me about the Messenger of Fire, the, the Page of Wands here for them. See, the messages holding out. I want to send this message and I'm having to be strong. Somebody says there you are Pisces sitting on your throne. The high priestess. And you've got incredible insights on how to change and shift your energy. How to deal with darkness and how to deal with light. How to bring in ancient secrets of the divine feminine and how to keep secrets for yourself. Things that should not be spoken. And like I said in another reading, when you come to this woman, you have to ask permission. You need to make an appointment. She is to be respected. You are respecting yourself inside. You're holding your dignity and charm no matter what comes your direction. And you are speaking your truth. You're not having any trouble with speaking your truth right now, Pisces. And uh, Avi Dargon, you're awesome here. Tell me about the strength card for Pisces in October. Justice comes out for you. Big, big, big reading. This is a big reading, Pisces. Justice comes out. This could be a Libra that makes you strong. You feel like, wow. Um, or a Leo that comes into your space. And um, this is justice. This is getting a good outcome for something. This is the Ace of Swords right here that the justice, uh, the, the responsibility of making a good decision and giving a good outcome and balance for you. You will get equal. You will get balance again. You will be blessed and respected. And it'll make you feel strong. Wow. I love it. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for my beautiful Pisces. Wow. Come on out there, boys. The Hermit. You got a Eureka in your meditation times, in your downloads, in your spiritual insights. You pull back. The Hermit pulls back. Uh, this is a Virgo as well, energy. Pulls back from society, goes into hermit stage only to discover what he needs to work on inside of himself, male or female. Inside of that deep soul, 
How do I heal? Let me learn about it. I'm going to go learn about it. I'm going to go figure out what it is that makes me tick. And I'm going to come back strong. And this is where in your meditations, in your time and introspection, in your knowledge, in your seeking, you finally get a eureka and you get incredible joy because you know that time is linear and you have a new choice in love. Tell me more about... Tell me about this hermit. The hermit has finally figured out how to overcome his past bad karma, how to pay it off and, de and debt it, and you have figured it out. I think you're at a completely karmic reset now, right now. Complete brand new karmic reset, and it's beautiful. Pisces, you uh, have, you may have two people fighting over you. You may have um, money coming, and you'll try to figure out where to put it, how to use it, this for that, balancing act, balancing act. Okay, so um, it could be two relationships. It could be two offers for you, my love. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. It could be two offers for you. Pisces, I like this. Mm. So who we have on the table for you that you might be corresponding with or working with is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone making a commitment yourself, Pisces energy. Um, it could be um, someone sacred in your life that you speak with. This is a messenger of energy. This may be someone that you trust, someone a trusted advisor as well, spiritual trusted advisor. You are seeking justice for um, the strength that you've had to hold up for the longest time and the thing that you've defeated within, you're getting a victory over it. Whatever this is that you've had to tame your passions over, you've done a very fine job, Pisces. You have um, someone here, or you yourself has experienced an incredible eureka about your karmic past. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Romance angels, let's talk to Pisces. This is so freaking good that I'm blown away. All of them have been really, really good. I like it. What do the romance angels want to say to begin this reading so we can look at you and possibly someone you're dealing with specifically, right? Trust. Of course. So whatever you're waiting on, you need to have trust. What have you been waiting for? You deserve love. You need to know that at the deepest core of your being. It's a natural instinct. You are love. You are love. You got a honeymoon coming up. I guarantee you something beautiful. This this could represent the experience of the Ten of Cups and the Fool, where you get a brand new, brand new experience in love, and you're like, wow, I haven't felt this in a long time. I really needed to feel this kind of new start and relief in my love. I needed to feel this experience. That is just divinely beautiful. So now I'm going to take a peek at the mindset or the, uh, where am I at? Oracle of Visions. Wait, before I pull that, I have to check this energy here for you. So now we're going to take a look at your energy and a significant partner. We see what you're going through. It's amazing. I need you to know that. By the way, I love you guys. I hadn't told you that. Oh, I send you love and healing energy. The, the reciprocal kind of love that you need, where you definitely feel this Ten of Cups. You deserve it. You need a brand new start. You need someone to come forward with enough finances and love and commitment to bring equality, to help you to have trust again, to help you to have more than enough to feel safe and to have those Eureka's moments, right? You deserve this honeymoon energy. What is, you, what is Scorpio? I mean, a Pisces in love, sorry. You're the magician. You're the master manifester. You know how to alter things in your experience. You know how to make things happen. Karmic change. What is the energy of your significant other? Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not happy without you. It could be that someone, it could be that uh, Virgo went, went off away from you acted like a fool, went off away from you, went, did some introspection and said, oh my God, I am so wrong. I'm so crazy about Pisces. I, I have to get rid of my fears. 
and I have to make a decision and balance this out and get my Nine of Cups, Pisces, my wish fulfillment. That's what they're doing. Tell me more about their energy, please. Who is this? Um, Page of Pentacles, but I don't have a lot to manifest with right now. Before I come to you, I have to learn to manifest and be able to give you a coin, give you a gift, explain why the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse for this person. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Right now, they're not in wish fulfillment, but they want to be in yours. This is a Ten of Cups again. Um, they are, you have somebody who's pulled back a little bit, a lot, actually. And they're starting to realize that you are their wish fulfillment. And in order to make you um, make you theirs, they're going to and make you very, very happy. They're going to have to come out of this hole they're in. They're going to have to come out and really express themselves to you because you deserve love. You not only have the justice of high priestess, you have the magician, the ten of cups. This person is fairly worthy of you. Let me just say that. So explain to me what that is. They're going through a karmic past. They lost money. Someone that loves you, they've not come forward fully to confess their love because they've lost some money. They had a tower moment. It could have been love, too. It could have been a relationship they were in, and they pulled back. They got an enlightenment and a eureka, and they pulled back, and they were juggling. They discovered you. You made them feel good. They will discover you. You make them feel good. After a tower moment where they lost money, and it broke their heart. Okay? That's what's going on with the significant other. Explain to me a little bit more about this person. Who is this person that Pisces is dealing with? Empress. Aries, possibly, or a Taurus. I see Taurus. Pisces, Taurus. Uh, connection here. Because the common energies are joy. <laughs> This is, brand, this is manifesting a relationship with someone. I want you to have my children, my family. I want you to be empress over my life. I want to show you love. I want to make you my wish fulfillment. And stop juggling all these worries that I have. Pisces, do you hear me? I am an Aries or a Taurus or a water sign. And I wish to make you mine. I see you as ultimately creative, a manifester. You're magical. I'm in love with you, and I want to make you mine. Well, I'm going to ask what this person's intentions are. Let me see what they're going to do next, and then we'll take it. We'll go a little farther into the um, Queen of Cups. Oh, what do you think, Pisces? You think they're crazy about you? I do. This is their intentions. To have complete empathy and love. For you to be in your fullness of love at this time. So you can manifest whatever it is you want. What is on the mindset of this person? This is Cyril Marchetti's Oracle of Visions. They're very dramatic. They talk about what's actually on the mind of this other person. That would be in a love relationship with you. See it from both perspectives. You need to look at it from both perspectives, they said. This could be, uh, this is for, this is about grounding. They want you to have trust in them and to see it their way. Look at things from different persons' perspectives. That's what's on their mind. Okay? So, at this juncture, we're going to say, what a bunch of star players here. Now, in your extended reading, you're going to get the, um, I will give you a true love card. You will get an Alana Fairchild's Journey of Love, Archangel Oracle, Healing Cards, Conscious Spirit, um, Fairy Oracles, uh, Fairy Healing Cards, um, Soulmate Manifestation Card, and a Conscious Spirit Card. Did I say that already? Probably. What would the moon like to say to my beautiful Pisces at this time. What is the outcome for Pisces? What do you expect Pisces to understand at this time? Be bold and make the first move. You know what that's about if this applies to you. You and your loved ones are safe. I like that sound of that. 
that's cancer energy. That could be a water sign you're dealing with, too. It could be. And prosperity does lie ahead for you, Pisces. Oh, yeah. Depends on your definition of prosperity, I suppose. So this is what I'm seeing for you at this time. Now we're going to go into deep love messages for your future. So if you want your extended reading, there's two ways you can get it. One, you can just go to my PayPal link below and you can deposit $5.55 into my PayPal. And then when you do that, there's a note place and you can say Pisces reading or any of those. But it's $5.55 per reading. And then you have the other option and that's join me on Patreon and my team. And when you do, you, ought, you will be in on drawings, readings, giveaways. You'll be getting special unique readings, um, some common material. You will also um, have 10% off your readings. Mm. Sometimes I've, I, I haven't set that up on the computer yet, so I explain that to you. But anyhow, um, you will have access on Patreon, no matter what small amount you donate, to every single extended reading. So which technically is the outcome, right? And that's what we're trying to get to. Where is this energy leading? So now you see what's going on now. Confirmation of your situation. You're seeking your Ten of Cups. You're in a brand new start. You're moving with trust, self-confidence, boldness, magic manifesting, High priest is trusting that inner intuition. Sending out a message to someone because prosperity lies ahead if you, know your, if you know your value and worth. And you should know your value and worth because you're the fish isle right now. You have uh, someone that had, had financial troubles that loves you very much, but they're um, trying to get you to look at their perspective. And I know not why, but we're going to find out why. We're going to have... Um, some really good oracles to guide you through this. So thank you so much. I hope I see you on the extended because those are really great. And if you enjoyed the reading or you liked it or you, you related to it, I love to comment. I love to hear where you're at, how any of this related to you. Um, and if you didn't, well, then go check. be sure to go and check out your other signs. Um, in your chart, and if you don't know where your chart is, please hit me up and I'll uh, ask me the question on my email and I'll send you some links you can use that are really efficient for finding out your chart, what it means, why you need it, numerology, the whole thing. So, Pisces, I love you, and I send you healing energy, and pink plasma energy. I use that in my Reiki treatments as well. So, I'm here for you. I love you. Namaste. Many blessings. See you on your extended.